Hey everybody, Ashton here. Today we're going to look at some artifact assault by some very extremely popular demand. And rightfully so. This game mode was actually recorded with the advanced players that I recorded my wanted game with. And actually right after that wanted match, I was kind of saving it for a rainy day. There's going to be no um, mutant in this video. I know there's a huge mute fan club, me being the president of the mute fan club. But I'm going to use teleport instead of mute. For good reason. And before I talk about that strategy, I just want to show you right here. You notice I don't really run into the circle, I just kind of want to touch the artifact. And then I hit a chase breaker right there, and I put myself in the position I'm hugging the wall on the chase breaker. That way, not only can they not get to me in chase breaker, they can't shoot me or knife me and slow down my teleport or cancel my teleport. And I noticed the guy on the roof over there, which means I gotta be really careful when running the artifact back to not get aerialed or give him time to aerial me while I cap it. Even though I'm running around very strangely right now. Okay, let's talk about two strategies in Artifact. But there really is only two strategies in Artifact. You're either going to be a person going after Artifact, or you're going to play be a person playing defense. You do not want to do a hybrid class in this game mode, and I'll talk about that. I'll talk about why and what to do if you're playing offense, which I'm not going to be showing in this video. If you're the one going after the Artifact, which is kind of def defense, offense, I guess I guess that would be considered offense, although you're not killing. If you're the guy going after the artifact, you want to put on your boost cooldowns and your teleport. And what will happen is after you die a few times, you'll get your boost cooldowns. And the boost cooldowns only goes away when you kill someone. And that means as long as you don't kill anybody, the only reason I go for a kill here is because I'm trying to save artifact point. So I'll get back to that also. Uh, you die, you get your boost cooldowns, and as long as you don't kill anybody, the whole game you could run boost cooldown, which means you can have your, your smoke and your teleport come back super fast all the time because you're never killing anybody. That's that's why you never want to um, kill someone when you're in boost cooldowns or you want to get to your boost cooldowns as fast as possible. So if you die two times and you're about to get your boost cooldown then you kill somebody, you gotta start all over again. So you kinda just want to choose if you want to play defense or offense and just stick to it and that way down the line later in the game as we'll see here, you'll be better at the game mode. This is another strategy I like to do. Oh, here's a kill I was talking about. This is the only time I'll kill is when the other team is literally about to score. That's the only time I'll you know risk my boost cooldown or get up there and get in the action of killing. More importantly than my points, more importantly than anything else is I want to make sure that the team wins. And to do that, you're going to have to you know sacrifice your points, your boost cooldown, whatever it is. So stopping somebody from scoring an artifact assault is pretty much the main thing. Scoring and stopping scoring. Those are the two things you need to worry about. A great thing to do in Artifact Assault, which I was trying to show, show earlier but I got killed, was stealing the artifact when it's already stolen. If your teammate steals the artifact, everyone's focus is on that person. That gives you a great opportunity to go in their artifact base, as you kind of saw earlier, sneak in there, just wait, and then as soon as they kill him or, or wherever they kill him, you can go another path and there's nobody on you. This is the teleport trick I was telling you about. You can't really get shot. Well, I can get shot from the front, but no one from the back can shoot me. By the time they catch up to me, I already teleported. And in literally a few seconds, I, I did the artifact. The reason I didn't go to Chase Breaker again is I already did that. They might expect it. I need, you got to change it up on them, especially if you're playing you know, advanced players or better players. You don't want to do the same thing over and over again. You kind of just want to keep mixing it up. There's going to be a few fails here, and it'll give me a good time to talk about the offensive strategy and artifact assault. Defensive strategy. I'm all confused. When you're protecting your artifact... Oh yeah, it's defense. When you're protecting your artifact, uh, what strategies do you want to use? One, you never want to go for the artifact. Now, this is the opposite of the boost cooldown strategy. This is the animus hack strategy. You want to get your animus hack. To do so, you don't want to get stunned. It'll, it'll slow down. It will slow you down. You don't want to get killed, which is why you don't want to get go inside their base and try steal an artifact. So you want to avoid these two things. To do so, you want to stay in your base and get as many kills as possible. And when you get your animus hack, you can literally stand on the roof and just start picking people off one by one. If somebody's across the map about to score the artifact, you hit him with the animus hack. And as long as you keep using it really fast, it'll stay with you for a little bit. Okay, I got my boost cooldowns. This is excellent time video. As you just noticed, I just passed by two people, or one person, two people. I passed by somebody, alright? I passed by somebody, and I didn't kill him. Because I have my boost cooldowns. And then here's the second part of the strategy I talk about. My teammate stole the artifacts. 
so this is kind of a combination of both my strategies. My teammates stole the artifact. I have my boost cooldowns. I'm waiting for their artifact to respawn the base. In the meanwhile, the guy who's about to score the artifact on their team is coming inside this base. But what I don't realize here is that I just stole the artifact, so I can't kill him. So I'm just gonna have to, you know, suffer that they scored. But here's a clean run, no resistance, because the, my teammate already stole it. Everybody was after him. Even if they killed him, or even if he scored, the, all the attention was on him. And right, right when I got the artifact, I had no attention on me. I was able to teleport in peace. I, you know, nobody was after me. It was just a clean run, and you can do that so much. Even if you're not on a team, you're playing with a bunch of noobs who are just rushing the artifact. Wait for them to rush it. They rush the artifact, and you just wait there, wait till they die, then you grab it, and it's a great way to score points. I was able to score many 10,000 point games just watching noobs or following what noobs do. And if you don't have your teleport, talk to your teammates, like I did over here in this video, I'm saying, hey, I'm coming down the middle, meet me halfway, and my teammates are rushing over there. But some of them, as you notice, didn't cross the line because they don't want to risk death because they're working on the anime attack. But at the very least, they met me halfway, and as soon as they crossed it, they got stuns for the people chasing behind me, and that also gave me a clear run. You don't necessarily have to you know, rely on teleport. And here it is, I ran right back to the artifact. I already got my teleport back, I got my smoke. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some resistance around me. I'm not sure if I drop my... No, I don't drop it. Do I drop it? Yeah, I drop it. Yeah, I get kind of worried here, and there it is. That's the strategy. I showed kind of three ways of using the the teleport so far. One was far inside their base, one was a little bit on the roof. This one was almost all the way across the map and I still used it. You really want to ensure that you're scoring the um, you're scoring the artifact. Before anything, everybody on the map sees that you have the artifact. Everyone is paying attention to you. So back to the strategy, you guys get the idea here. You see my boost cooldown, I already got my smoke back, I'm already getting my teleport back. So back to the defensive strategy. There'll be what you'll see most of when you play this game, you'll see people hanging out in the base, waiting in an aerial position, you'll see traps in the artifact area, so when people run in, they get they hit the trap and then they they nail them. That does work. It really depends on who you're playing against though. I don't necessarily fall for things like that. And I know people in this game mode don't fall for things like that too. That's why you're not seeing it. What I like doing is I like actually going towards the middle of the map. That way you can flank your pursuer and if they teleport you're still close to them. The biggest flaw in waiting in the base for your for the person to come and hope they hit your trap is if they teleport out, you're done. You have no way of catching up to them, you're way too far behind. So what you could do is you could set traps midway in the map where you feel like they're gonna run through. You can set your smoke you can get ready to throw your smoke bombs in the middle of the map where you feel they're gonna teleport to. Put yourself more in the middle situation of the map. That way even if you miss them, if they teleport, if they're running, you can always just flank them somewhere in the map and not necessarily just put all your eggs in one basket try to kill them at the base and if you don't kill them at the base it's game over you lost and if you're using mics and you're actually playing with cool teammates or cool randoms you can have two people in the middle of the map two people rushing the artifact two people splitting the middle of the map one person on one side one person on the other side that way there really is nowhere they can go without getting past you forcefully and you have the advantage of it because you're in front of them most likely they're not going to be using mute, which is the main thing you, you would need to worry about when someone's rushing at you. Because they're probably going to be using teleport. This is a pretty high scoring game. You know, once this boost cooldowns come back, I would really go back and maybe pay attention to the last two minutes of this video of me running the artifact. Not because I'm some crazy marathon runner, but because I've literally scored like three or four times because my boost cooldowns just keep coming back and I get teleport and smoke every few seconds. Okay. Roll steals the artifact, but this time he's not falling for it. You see this guy on top of the roof? He's not <laughs> falling for me. He saw me do it way too many times, and I gotta use some of my cooldowns now. The problem with stunning him here is I can't just wait inside the base now for the artifact because he sees me. And that's why I gotta change it up a bit. I'm gonna try to get a kill here. Again, I'm gonna fail miserably. It's really hard to get a kill when you're exactly inside of their base. You need to be a lot closer to the middle of the map, or else you might accidentally catch the artifact while trying to kill the person who has the artifact and realize you can't and all that boring stuff. I did talk a lot although I did the same strategy over and over again. I would just go back and look at the way ways to capture if you want to be the one capturing. You don't want to have everybody steal an artifact. 
you don't want to have everyone playing defense like most games you get into at random are. You need to have a good balance with both to have a really good high scoring game. This one actually ends up in a tie, 10-10. But a lot of strategy being used here, a lot of great players. Overall, a good time. Great game mode, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more videos, check out TopTierTactics.com, Pixel Enemy, I'm doing videos for them too. See you soon.